random video before I uh, put this thing back together. I have just fixed a problem with it. Well, I haven't fixed it, but I've uh, done a temporary solution that works. The brightness on this did not work. And I noticed when I tipped it upside down, I could actually change it so I could actually adjust the brightness and focus. But I banged on it and I couldn't, and it was only when it was upside down, only when I tapped on it could I get it to do the brightness like this. Before that it was at full brightness, completely out of focus, all that jazz. And I've literally sat on this for months since getting it, and I thought, what if the problem is actually with the CRT itself? So I have literally painstakingly extended all the wires on the back of the CRT, flipped it round 180 degrees, flipped the horizontal and vertical plates so when I twist a certain way it actually goes that way. And surprise, surprise, fixed. So there is actually a fault in this CRT that leads to a loose connection that was leading to the uh, focus not connecting. Which is now basically being held in by gravity. So how long this will last, I don't know. I did look for actual replacement CRTs. Yeah, they ain't e existent. And this is a Haymeg Oscilloscope HM103. It looks super cool when you remove this front cover. It looks super like retro 1960s sci-fi gear. You have the slightly rounded square CRT and all that jazz. But I just thought that was a nice little teaser. I haven't put up a video for a bit, so... And I've certainly wanted to. I just haven't had the time. There's something going on in the works that may or may not come to fruition. And you'll know it when you see it. But that's... I'm not saying any more than that. There's just something in the works that may or may not be coming to fruition. The news wasn't so good today. So... Yeah. And I took a day off work for it, so it's big. But, well, if nothing eventually comes of it, well, it didn't work out. If it does, you'll know it when you see it. But yeah, that has fixed the scope. I can now use this scope. I just need to put it back together while electrocuting myself. Because this thing uses close to 2,000 volts. Yeah, that's a nasty bite. Thanks for watching.